As we roll out Copilot in Excel, we are initially focused on the 98% of mainstream users who struggle to get the full value of Excel. In this example, we have some raw product and sales data. And as you get started with Copilot, it helps you convert your data to a formatted table for easy filtering, sorting, and analyzing. Now, say you want to add a column with profit margin. Instead of creating the formula and dragging it down all the cells, a simple instruction can do that for you. What's great about this is that it not only provides the calculation with a formula, but also explains how it is calculated, so you can also learn from Copilot. Once you're happy, you can easily add it to the table. For those of you who know how to apply conditional formatting to make specific data stand out, it often is a time-consuming and complex task. Instead, you can just ask Copilot. For example, you want to mark all the rows with a negative profit margin with some visual icon. Within seconds, all the cells with negative profit margin are easy to spot. One thing most of us struggle with is identifying interesting patterns in large data sets. Copilot can easily produce interesting observations just by asking it to show you insights. This is where generative AI really does its magic. After a little bit of processing, it reveals a chart with the most interesting insights. Now we could dig further on this specific insight, but let's instead explore all the insights, which it can add to a new tab so that your original data remains intact. Let's take a closer look at this pie chart. Now, many of us have used pivot tables before, and they are very powerful, but it's always a struggle to manipulate charts in meaningful ways. Right click on the chart and then click the show field list. This brings up a new window with pivot chart fields, essentially bringing pivot chart capabilities to everyday users. Here you can interact with all your data and create the exact view of the data you need, which you can then insert into your PowerPoint presentation or email. Now let's wrap up this demo in Outlook.